Hello guys, and welcome once again to another episode in Majora's Mask 3 Heart Run. Last time we delved a little bit into this uh, temple here, Snowhead, and uh, Link, being the uh, thick-headed numbskull he is, left his sword somewhere. Yeah! Good going, Link. Oh well, he's a brave young lad and can actually... Uh, tackle this dungeon without a sword. Hopefully, anyway. Fetch! Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. We have to do this. We have to go back down. Of course. How could I forget? How could I forget? Um... Do 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 do. Uh, what am I doing? All right. So goodbye to you. Really don't care. Ah, hello. You actually gave me arrows. That's cool. All right. Let's see if I can make this in the first attempt. Please, Link, jump on these invisible blocks that you can only see with the eye. Lens of truth. Y'all seeing eye. Alright. Uh -huh. Alright. So, that should be the last one in this room. Right. I'm gonna be running, running around with my fairy's mask for a while. Yep. No more fairies in that room. Cool beans. No more fairies in this room. Arrows? Yeah, oh, magic. Magical work. I like magic. Give me magic. Uh huh. And the arrows go flying down the cliff. <laughs> that is awesome. No arrows for me, apparently. And since I have no sword, I only have to shoot him with my fire arrow. <laughs> oh. I'm, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably going to be referring to no sword throughout this whole entire dungeon. Whatever. Great fairy got a small key. That is awesome. Awesome sauce, Link. Awesome sauce. And yes, I know there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff down here. All right. Which, I think I know where one may be. I know exactly where one is. Okay. It's down here. A uh, stray fairy is down here. You don't actually have to come down here. All this is... Oh my goodness. All this is optional, so... Hello, Mr. Fire Bubble You. Will you leave me alone, please? Thank you very much. Uh, apparently you won't... Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to think of where else I need to go. I know where I need to go. I just need to... I just want to figure out where all the stray fairies are. That way I don't have to keep on backtracking. I know where one is off the top of my head. Two, three. I know where three are off the top of my head. Because uh, two of them get pretty much while going through this dungeon, through the main actual way. And the other one is very, very difficult pain in the hiney to get. Uh -huh. Or just not have enough magic to fire arrows at that f guy. Link. Of course. Every, every single time. It, it In this game, you always run out of magic. In Majora's Mask, you run out of magic. In Ocarina of Time, you never run out of magic. Because you... I mean, you do use it, but you don't use it at the exact same time. Type of thing, if you remember... If you actually, yeah. 
Whatever I'm trying to say about Ocarina of Time. Hey, Stray Fairy! I thought that was a small key, but uh, apparently that's a Stray Fairy. Number nine. Come on. Fire torches must... Thank you! Alright. Cool. Come on, Link. Don't fall down into the abyss of darkness. Huh. Giant switch. Wonder what this does. Uh, don't lay down on it. Just pound it, Link. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. All right. Let's see if I can get out of here without too much damage done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Magic. Where is magic? Thank you. Is this the way I need to go? No, it's not. Should have gone out the other way. Yeah, with that big pillar out in the center of the main room now, it makes it a lot more difficult to navigate this place because your route from place to place has been cut off and you need to f figure out uh, ways to go. Let's see. Oh, hello, Mr. You know what? Screw you, Mr. Wolfos. Screw you, Mr. Wolfos. I am not in the mood to fight you. Yeah, I probably should have <laughs> skipped him uh, a few times, but... Off we go! Into the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sun! Alright, up we go into the second floor. And this bomb chew likes uh, reappearing for some odd reason, even though I keep on blowing it up. It always does that for some odd reason. Goodbye, Mr. Ice Dude, and I shall poke you in the eye. Alright. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I do want to punch this out. Cool. And I'll show you why I can actually get to that door up there <laughs> with it like this. It's actually fairly simple. Up there, anyway. Alright. And there's a door with a key. And we have a key. That's cool. But before we go through that door, punch! And punch. We are shortening this pillar slowly. And that will be its final resting place. Alright, what's in this uh, room? Uh, okay. Okay. Of course. You know what? Screw it. Um, why can't I stay locked on to you? Thank you. These guys are a little bit easier with uh, fire arrows. So, yay. And there is a fairy in this room. Where at? Let's see if I can actually... There you are. There you are, little fairy. Come to me. Come to Papa. Um, okay. Gotta remember, no sword. <laughs> Apparently, I use the sword a lot more often in this dungeon than I realize. Because, uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, goo. This is the room that I need the sword in. <laughs> this is the room that I need the sword in. Even though I can uh, get past it without the sword. And... 
or just die in one ground pound. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for dying that quickly, Stalfos. Alright. And, since we can't get across, we shall uh, figure out how to get across next time in Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3 Hearts Run, guys. Thank you for watching. This is UT Young for this signing off, saying keep things frosty.